Here we have the square root multiplication, basic. So again, we would want to multiply these together, but 15 is not a prime number. So you would wanna break that up into its primes. And 15 is actually three times five. And you have a pair there. So that pair can be written as three squared and then times the five. So the pair, you can separate it. The square root of the pair times the square root of the five. And then the square root and the square on the pair will go away, leaving you just the three on the outside. But since there's just one five on the inside, that one's going to stay. So similarly for this problem, we can put the 32 and the not prime. And 32 is actually going to be four times eight, two times two, four times two, and then two times two. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have two to the fifth times this two. So I brought that two over. Well, that just means I have two to the sixth then inside the house. And so how many pairs do we have there? We have a lot of pairs. We have, um, if there's six of them, we can write one as a pair, another one as a pair, that's four, and then another one as a pair. And now we have three pairs, right? So each one of these will come out as its own two without the house. And then when you multiply all that together, you get eight. You could have also done the exponent form and simplified, right? Like we did with the variables. So you can write this as two, and then the power six over the kind of square root, you're, the kind of root you're doing, which is a square root. And then if you simplify that, you get two to the third power even, and two to the third power is also eight. So whether you're doing this or you're doing this, it's still the same. Now I prefer to do this only because what would happen if this was two to the 57, right? Do I really want to sit here and go two, 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 28 times until I get all of the pairs? No, right? That's not going to be productive. So it's better to put it into its exponent form and then simplify. And if it just so happened to be, let's pretend, right? It was two to the 17 instead of two to the six. When I change that, I get two to the 17 over two, which I know goes eight times evenly, but with one left over. And so then this is still going to be the square root of two and two to the eighth would be 256. But that beats having to go two squared, two squared, two squared, two squared, two squared, eight of them, and then the extra two, right? And then all of those eight twos coming out, but there being this extra square root of two still stuck inside. So it, it does save some time to just change it to um, exponent form instead of radical form so that you can simplify it a little bit faster. Now again, with six, six being so small, that one, it, it really wouldn't have mattered which method you use. They both have about the same amount of time and the same amount of steps. But the larger that exponent becomes, um, the better off you are you putting it in exponent form, so instead of radical form.